if you are a WordPress developer and if your website has plenty of images, you might find it difficult to manage the images. And with the WordPress 5.8 update, now you cannot see all the images together and you need to click on the load more button to see for the images. This might be useful for the WordPress to load faster, but for a developer, it becomes a tedious task to find out the images of their interest. Also, if you wish to insert an image in your blog or a WooCommerce product, it becomes difficult to find out a particular image that you had inserted long back. So in this video, we will see how we can smartly manage the media library and create something like these folders to manage all our images in a better way. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillbuild.com and I create helpful videos for people who want to learn WordPress without any technical background. So in today's session, we will see how to smartly manage the media library. And for this, we will take help of few plugins. And at the end, I will tell you which is the best plugin as per my experience. So let us hover over to the dashboard and check out the first plugin. So hover over to the plugins and go to add new. So the first plugin that we will install is named as folders. And this plugin has been developed by uh, Premium. And let us install and check out how this plugin functions. So let us activate the plugin. Since uh, I had already tested all these plugins on the same website, it is giving me opportunity to import the same folders. But we will see this from scratch and I will just close this. Once you install this plugin, if you move to the media library, you will see some options which are new on this window now. You will see some folders that I had created and I will again show you how to create a new folder here. But for us to understand the media library, you will see that it has total 221 media items and we can easily move all these images into different folders. But even if you move them into different folders and if you disable any of the plugins, they will not affect the actual library. So these plugins will help you just to manage the media library in a better way. Let us check out the options. Here you will see the first option is the new folders and you can just click on this to create a new folder. So let me give it a name drawing. It is similar to creating a folder on your laptop or computer. So once you create these folders, you can just select the images that you want to move to these folders. So I will click on bulk select and maybe I will select these three images and just move them into this folder. So you will immediately see that these images are now part of these folders. So I will show you how this is going to help you. 
Let us put some images in the icons folder and I will again go to the bulk select and select these icons and drag them into this folder. Fantastic it is. So likewise you can add other images to these folders and now if I go to a new product you will see how easily I can insert any of the images. So here on the new product I can create a product. I have already created few videos about creating products. So here if you move to the product images now and try to insert a image you will get these options for the folders. So easily you can find out the image of your interest and you can just select and insert that image on your product. So likewise if I am working on a blog or creating a new page for example I can easily insert a image from the folders. So here if I wish to insert an image I will get options to select it from the folders. So everywhere you will see the folders options will be available and you can easily insert any of the images without wasting any of your time to get onto this load more button and you will save a lot of time. So we have seen the first plugin which can create the folders for you. So let us check out a different plugin now. We first need to disable this plugin. So I will just disable the plugin named folders. So I will deactivate, skip, deactivate and I will also delete this. So let us check out the next plugin and I will go to add new. Now I will search for Mediamatic. So this is another plugin which is for organizing the WordPress media files. So let us install this and check out how this plugin functions. I will activate the plugin. And similarly, if I now go to the media library now, I will see immediately few options on the left side. Since I had tested the same plugin, you will see the folders already created. This is my media library. And now if I go to add new, I can create a new folder. So let us create a new folder and name it as uh, extra. So I have just created a folder. I will just select few images. So if I now drag these you will see that the images are not moved but if you drag these and so now if we go to the product image and check out the add image option for the product. We will again get the folders on the left hand and if I click now on the products, I will see only the images for the products. So likewise, this is again a helpful plugin and you can check this for the blogs as well. And if I go to media library, I will see the options for the folders here. This has the functions. 
similar to the previous plugin but what i did not like about this plugin is drag and drop for the images is little difficult if you try to drag these images it becomes tedious because it doesn't select the images properly so maybe a glitch with this plugin the developers can look into this let us go to the plugins and uninstall this to move on to the next plugin i will go to mediamatic and deactivate the plugin so let me delete the plugin let us now add the next and the final plugin on this list and check out the features for this plugin the name of the plugin is file bird so this is the plugin name file bird uh, wordpress media library folders and file manager and it has been developed by the ninja team which has developed the ninja forms so let us install this plugin and check out the features I will just activate this plugin. Once activated, let us move on to the media library and we will see the similar options that we had on the other two plugins. So let us see if this plugin has uh, something different than the previous ones. So the new folder is the same function and we can just name it as uh, popular so i will save it and a new folder you will see immediately has been created let us add a few images to this folder i will just select the bulk select option and select these images and drag and drop them so one of the feature I liked about this plugin is this little functionality which shows the folder as open and now I can easily drag the images. So this was a flaw in the other two plugins but I find it very easy to drag and drop the images in the folders for this plugin. So now let us check out the WooCommerce product creation page and set the product image so this shows that this requires pro features but if we go to the blogs creation page and try to insert it from the media library you will see the folders option available for you so one more good thing about this plugin is once you install it you will see even on the wordpress 5.8 all of your images are available for you in one view so even if you check all files under the media section you won't see the load more option so somehow it is jumping that function for 5.8 which is kind of a good thing if you are used to viewing all the images in the media library so in all we have seen all the three plugins which are free versions and the first one the folders the second one mediamatic and the third one filebird are very helpful plugins to manage the media on our website hope you found this video interesting and if you would like to learn more about wordpress and wordpress websites you can connect with me for live sessions on my website that is learn.theskillville.com and it has limited sets. In these sessions, we discuss about WordPress, how to create websites from scratch and you will learn everything about WordPress and WordPress website development. So you can visit my website and book your seat immediately. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon 
so that you will get notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.